Welcome to Savita Dental College Lecture Cast. Dental Implantology Part 2. We are going to talk about dental implant design. The endosseous implant design comprises of three parts: the crystal module, the body, as well as the apex of the implant. What is a crystal module? Where does it get its name from? This is the portion of the implant that engages the crest of the bone. Crystal modules can be polished or they can contain microthreads. They can be either scalloped or straight, both of which have an equivalent success rate. The crystal module consists of a connector designed to receive an implant crown. If the connector is projecting outside, it is called an external connection. If the connector is projecting inwards to the implant, it is called internal connection, which is more widely used. If the internal hex uses a 1.6 degree taper, it is called MOS tapered connection. Crystal modules are designed in two levels, bone as well as the tissue level. In anterior teeth, bone level is used as it is less visible and more aesthetic. Tissue level implants on the other hand are easier to maintain and requires only one surgical procedure and hence they are used in the posterior teeth. The body of implants have threads which can be continuous or interrupted. The geometry of implants are manufactured with extreme precision. The width of the implant at the base of the thread is called the minor diameter whereas the width of the implant at the apex is called the major diameter. The distance between two threads is called the thread pitch which is usually 1 mm. The average length of an implant is 10 to 15 mm and each implant will have 10 to 15 threads. The distance between major and minor diameter is 0.2 to 0.3 mm. The width of the implant is usually between 3.5 to 5 mm. The commonly used thread designs are V-thread, square thread, buttress thread as well as the reverse buttress thread. V-thread is claimed to produce stress but 90% of all implant companies use this thread design. The square thread is claimed to produce the least stress but only one major company uses this thread. The buttress thread is considered to be effective in transferring load though there are no proof of its advantages. The reverse buttress thread again does not appear to have any proven advantages. Clinically speaking, too much width is not beneficial as the implant will absorb load without transferring it to the bone. This is called stress shielding. It is therefore an established custom to give priority to the length rather than the width of the implant. The surface characterization is defined as a process of roughening the surface to facilitate better implant bone bonding. There are two types of surface characterization, additive as well as subtractive. The additive characterization is done by spraying titanium plasma spray or hydroxyapatite coating. The subtractive characterization is done through acid etching with hydrofluoric acid, nitric acid or sulfuric acid. Additive characterization has been phased out of use due to increased chances of delamination of the coat. Noble Biocast's new Tionate surface uses a patented procedure that many believe is a combination of anodization and subtractive characterization. Subtractive characterization is used predominantly as it is cheaper and easier to perform. The etching process is used to create surface roughness. Companies using this process include Astrotech where they use hydrofluoric acid for their osseospeed surface. Strawman is the biggest implant company where they use sulfuric acid for their SLA active surface. Some studies show that using hydrofluoric acid does help in better osseointegration as fluoride helps in bone formation. Other methods of characterization include laser engraving which is also known as laser lithography, sandblasting where the implant is bombarded with alumina particles to create roughness. Alumina being toxic, it is not used anymore. Astratech uses titanium blasted surfaces which is called tyoblast. Grid blasting is a procedure of blasting much larger particles to get coarse surfaces. Since osteoblast requires a roughness of 100 to 200 microns to interact with the implant, we should be more cautious of claims of new companies trying to sell nano-surface implants. There are over 400 companies that manufacture dental implants all over the world. They are only differentiated from each other by the shape and the surface used. It should be noted that top 8 companies hold 70% of the market share as of 2013. And that was the brief introduction to the dental implant design. Thank you.